Welcome back, Agent Nation. My name, of course, is Father Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. We got some fantastic news for our first story of the day. NBA, the MVPBA, and PBA, and 2K have come to a new agreement. Operation Sports dropped this article saying, The NBA, MVPBBA, and 2K announced a long-term partnership expansion. Reportedly, a seven-year deal worth $1.1 billion. If you didn't know, 2K has to license their game out from the NBA, right? And so the NBA charges 2K to do that. And ever since 2K's been making record highs, they've been boasting all their numbers left and right to get their stock price up. You know what I'm talking about? You've seen the tweets. NBA is like, listen, man, we want a pretty penny this time. And so just, just so 2K can use NBA players' names, teams, and likenesses in the game. All the players represented by the Players Association in the NBA. It's gonna cost them $1.1 billion over seven years. And I don't know what they were thinking, but they were announcing this like it was great news or something. And I was like, listen man, that's a lot of money to give up just to a license. Do you know they could spend $1.1 billion on the servers and have the most glorious time. There would be so little latency, my guys. So they were almost celebrating the fact that they've made this new partnership. It, it means that no other company can come in and do some exclusive the way that EA did with Madden back in the day when NBA, when NFL 2K was a thing. Do you guys remember that? But it's also like, God damn, this is getting really expensive just to make sports video games now. Huh, interesting story, huh? I know, that's why it was the first story of the day. For our second story of the day, oh my god. It's like I can't take a break from Twitter, ladies and gentlemen, without people getting in a lot of drama. This time, it was between both grinding and Nadex. Of course, it's always Nadex back in the drama, bro. Literally a few days ago, he was talking about how he's no longer gonna get involved in drama, and here he is, literally the star of this episode's 2K drama alert. Unbelievable, preposterous. Anyway, let's get into the tweets, cause yo, there was some foul things being said. Nadex, he dropped his first tweet saying, I would 2v2 power and grinding for 1,000 in a clan series. They ain't gonna do because they know who would win. These just be chatting for little kids. All right. Just to give you some context, Nadex was trying to pull up on Grinding while he was streaming to play a game. Grinding ended his stream and hopped off before he realized Nade was trying to play him, and Nade got furious because he thought Grinding was trying to dodge him, and so that's what kind of began what's gonna be an entire whirlwind of tweets that led into a very deep, deep dark hole, ladies and gentlemen. Grinding responded to that saying, LMFAO, man, got so confident the second he hit 99 and got those max badges crying emoji. Give me a month to even the playing field and you got it. Nade responds, you literally claim the best stretch, right? Being 99 don't make me fucking invincible. Playing some goddamn defense, get the ball back and beat my ass like you claim you can do in your video. Now so far it's like some good trash talk between some 2K YouTubers that think they're better than one another at 2K. Just know this dude power gets less than 50K a video. He puts my name in the title, 150,000. He been doing YouTube for four years, still hasn't shown his face. I can't with Y'all come to my stream begging for me to play these but when I do, I'm the clout chaser? Bringing up some valid points? Interesting, interesting. Grinding responded saying, please tell me you are not bringing up views. LMFA, yo, you get less than 500K views a month. Go back to living with your parents instead of using T-Jack for rent money. If you didn't know, T-Jack, Nadex, and a few other people I don't know live in a house together. They call it the TNB house, and so what Grinding is accusing him of is leeching off of T-Jack to get his rent money. Oh, I don't know if it's true or not, or if it's just like a funny thing to say, but regardless, I'm interested. Dude got 500K, making less than channels with 50K, and wanna come at us about views? No wonder you want a game against us so bad. T-Jack pulling the weight on this month's rent. Yes, more, more, please. Cole the man decided to get involved. He said, Chase, why are you bringing up views? I don't f***ing upload. I'm a streamer pulling more than 5,000 every stream, question mark. Please stop bringing up numbers. And T-Jack decided he wanted to be my roommate. So how am I using him for money when he's not even on my lease? He can leave at any time. That's some very personal information you just divulged there, Nate. 
interesting. We none of us really cared, but it is interesting. Grinding said, you brought up views. It's like talking to a child. And they don't try and flex stream views on me. I'm not one of your little TMB fans. I know how much of that actually turns into revenue. You're broke as LMAO. Tell him to talk to me when he learns how to actually entertain a fan base instead of just pulling up on people who do. <laughs> Whoa! Guys, quick reminder, this began because of some 2K drama. Yo, I'm telling you, it escalates even more. Nate responded saying, yeah, I'm broke as fuck. Laughing emoji, no sign, cap. This literally could have never happened if you would just stay in your own lane. Always mentioning us, but call us irrelevant. Always care about us, we don't give a f about you, period. He makes some valid points. Nate is the one who I'd say began this drama. Literally a week after saying he would stop doing that exact thing. Bitch, no one called you irrelevant. I'm doing what the community wants, but no, your bitch ass bringing up money like I don't give a f how much money I got. I ain't gotta flex on the internet. You scared to play goddamn 2v2 on a virtual video game because I'm a 99 LMFAO. Grinding responded to that tweet. He said, bro, if you're gonna talk shit, at least back up your word. LMFAO didn't say I got 500k subs. I don't need to pull up on people. They pull up on me. They put me in their title. Look how the tables have turned, huh? I don't gotta compete with anyone to get a million subs. I'll get there slowly and be happy with my results. You take this YouTube way too serious, LMFA. I'm not gonna lie, Nate does bring up a good point there. There's a lot of YouTubers that once they start blowing up, they just get obsessed. And it's good to get obsessed to a certain degree because you wanna stay on your grind and drop the dope videos, but you also have to cool it because it's not mentally healthy for you to tie your entire well-being to the numbers you're getting because you're gonna have some off dates. You might have an off month. Some people have off careers. Those people never blew up. <laughs> <laughs> Father Beamstar is a little disrespectful, I apologize. If I thought Nade was being genuine, I'd give him some points, but honestly, because he was the first one to bring up views in this situation, I don't think he is, I just think he's trying to backtrack from what he previously said. Grinding responded to that saying, imagine having 500K and being so invested in the community that you call out anybody you see who has the potential to pass you. Let's race to 1 million, buddy. I'll even give you a head start. <laughs> Yo? Yo? We got Savage grinding in the building today, ladies and gentlemen. He was not holding back. The funniest part about this is that I got YouTubers DMing me like, good shit, put him in his place, LMFA, yo. Nobody f with you, bruh. Just leave us alone. Isn't the 99 the highest overall? This dude's playing the game so damn much, you think he's going for 100. <laughs> Laughing emoji. I'm not gonna lie, grinding. You might have to hit the, the stage, my guy, do a little stand-up comedy. You might have it in you. This is when things really began to escalate because for whatever reason, instead of trying to respond to what Grinding said, Nade was just like, hey, listen, bro, listen, we're just gonna do low blows now. And he dropped a face reveal of Grinding. And for a lot of people in the community, it's the first time you've seen his face. He basically doxed him with the caption, imagine, LMFAO. So I was like, God damn, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do that now? Okay. All right, so things have escalated. I wonder what the response is gonna be. Nate follows up saying, I'm off Twitter. He <laughs> hee. I saw this funny ass tweet saying, I can already feel Agent hunting down his fedora in his hat collection for the next drama alert video. Listen, bro, it's right there, my guy. It's always right beside me at all times. You never know when you might need it. Grinding was feeling some type of way about that screenshot, bro. He said, I don't lose arguments like this, and I definitely not gonna lose one when y'all got my back. Dudes using pics I released myself. Picked the worst one and still got bodied. Tell Pimple Butt I said what's up when you crying in her arms tonight. What? <laughs> it must be those 30 years of smoking cigarettes, man. Woo! If you guys don't know what he's talking about, about a year ago, Nadex was in a whole another controversy because for whatever reason, he, he decided to record himself smashing his girl and then put it in a group chat where there was underage kids. And everybody was like, bro, just do you ever use your brain for things? Or do you just do things without using your brain? Because it's, it was so monumentally reckless at the time and it still is, Jesus, wow. What a crazy thing to do. But in that video, if you ended up watching it and you were staying up to date in the news back in the day, his girl had some pimples on her ass cheek. And so for him to be referencing that, I, I almost forgot about the pimple. You know, a lot of people use it to make fun of Nade when they get in drama with him, but whoo, I know Nade said he was going to sleep, but this is not one of those ones where you just ignore, right? You, got, you kinda have to respond to this one. Things 
somehow escalated. He quote tweeted Nate's tweet saying, leave the community while you're at it. Hold the L on top of the one power already gave you. Skull emoji. LMFAO, I was waiting for this. That's how I know you was out of arguments. You're posting that pic like me posting this one of you. I had just turned 17, Nate. But yo, you should upload that and my name in the title. You might actually make more than 3,000 this month if you do. <laughs> oh my God, man. Oh shit. I wanna interrupt the drama for a quick little intermission story. Hank posted this tweet saying ice on my wrist. And, and listen, I don't really know about jewelries and shit like that, but this does look like a boogie when he's talking about the bust down, all right? <laughs> Hank, stop posting pictures of golden watches. Someone's gonna try and rob you, bro. <laughs> There's a reason why like a lot of celebrities get robbed and they just stop flexing. It's cause like you flex too much and eventually someone's gonna snag you, you know? But he probably has insurance on it. So congrats on the watch, Hank. You are in Miami now living your greatest life. A follow-up story to that one. C4 dropped a tweet caption. Bottom row, third from the left. We pulling IPs now, Nate? And if you take a look at this desktop, Nate is streaming, and at the very bottom, the bottom left, you can see there's a little notepad document that says IPs. Now, it's very possible that Nate just has a series of IPs that he switches through. Maybe he has a static IP. He doesn't have a dynamic IP. But it's also possible that he has the IPs of other people. Nate, why would you even put that on your desktop where it could potentially be vis visible, especially when you stream so often? It's like, how many horrible decisions, man, Jesus. Now, I didn't want to jump to any conclusions, nothing like that, bro, because to accuse somebody, like I said, of pulling IPs or doxing or booting people, very serious offense. And Nate has gotten swatted in the past, so I can't imagine he want to inflict that kind of disgustingness on other people, but like, it, it might be cool if you address that, Nate, because like, for now, it's just kind of sitting there and you haven't said nothing about it, but uh, yeah, there's that. All right, back to the main story of the day. Grinding drops a tweet saying, at this point, I'm beating a dead horse, LMAO. He already deleted the tweets where he got flame the most, but I know Agent got the screenshots already, so sucks for him. If he says something else, we're going for round two, but I'm out for now. I did get the screenshots, ladies and gentlemen. I was on top of my game that night. Listen, bro, I literally stopped what I was doing for a whole hour to grab screenshots. I'm taking this very, very seriously, guys. I got notifications for everybody in the community that tends to get in drama all the time. T-Jack decided to get involved because his name was in the mix. He said, yo, I'm not in this arguing stuff. I personally don't have a problem with anyone, but Nade wanted me to let y'all know he got banned on Twitter again. So apparently because of this tweet that Nade said here, he ended up getting banned. And I don't know what Twitter has against Nay, bro. I really don't because he's literally gotten banned like five or six times for super light stuff. I've seen people do way worse on Twitter and not get banned. And so like, you know, whether you're a fan of someone or not, I think we could all agree, bro. Nate is catching some bad treatment from Twitter. I don't know if it's something he's doing against TOS and he just doesn't know, but uh, I, I don't know if he got his account back at the end of the day. All we know is that temporarily there was some things that was suspended on his account because of what he was saying back and forth with grinding. Orlando in Chicago said, yo, let me get in the drama, bro. He said, if you look past the raging, toxic shit talking, racist remarks, and the pimple on his girl's ass, Nate's actually not a bad guy. I find him funny and entertaining. <laughs> oh man, I feel bad for Nate, bro. Everybody's kind of ganging up on him, man. I, I know Orlando was trying to be nice in this tweet, but just by referencing the pimple on the ass, it just became so disrespectful that it was hilarious. This is just pure comedy to me, all right? I love the drama, ladies and gentlemen. I love it, I love it, I love it. Nade saw that tweet later the next morning and he, he said, watch your mouth, keep this shit on the gaming side, don't take it personal, all I'ma say. Woo! Which is like an interesting thing to say, considering YBN Almighty J literally just took things personal and was trying to find Nade's address a couple weeks ago. Or Grinding was literally talking about the pimple butt too. So it's like, I don't know, he took a shot at Orlando, but I feel like he's holding some bullets back, right? And he's not letting it fully spray, right? And we're over, you already have toxic Nade in the building, man. You might as well just let it go. Just go at everybody. Orlando decided to quote tweet that saying, stop acting tough, I gave you a compliment. I know you're a softie in real life. Your ass said you were coming to Chicago two years ago for a 1v1 and you were a no-show, so shut the f up. I mean, Orlando, you kind of have to see where Nate's coming from on this one, bro. You're literally talking about the pimple on his girl's butt cheek. Now, it is also true that nobody would know about that pimple if he didn't 
post it online. But at the same time, you know, it is kind of a low blow. It is really funny. But then you can't be mad when he gets mad about you saying that, you know? You kind of had you kind of had that one coming, my guy. Grinding was fed up with this. The next day, he dropped a video, and in the video, he explained this. Me and Nate even talked in the DMs and squashed the beef, and we were gonna play twos on his glass to show that we could actually make the community positive. But the next day, Nate does what he does best and tweets about me and Power again. Bro, literally, all I'm trying to do is make videos and grind these streams with my Simply Squad, because at this point, y'all are a huge reason why this game is still fun for me. That's where the drama ended with Grinding and Nate X, but Grinding did say that if Nate was to act up, he was down for round two. I don't know what that means. I do hope we end up seeing a game between the two, because I know in the video, Grinding said he would never play against Nadex, but bro, for the community? Come on, after all of this, we would love to see a matchup, my guy. You know, just take your few weeks, grind your player. I don't know what overall Grinding's at right now, but it will be really, really fun if both y'all pulled up on stream and played against each other after all this popped off. I'm just saying that for the community, it would be fantastic content. All right, man, let's move on to the next story. For the final story of the day, this one, I'm gonna just let you simmer on this one, all right? While, while you move on and watch another video of mine, because <laughs> you love watching my videos so much because you want to give me more watch time so that I can blow up on YouTube some more. Sorry, guys, it was Father Beam Star. I don't usually pay attention to 2K TV because, well, because it's really boring. In the latest episode, they did something really interesting where they decided to blur out shoot everyone's name, almost as if shoot isn't a regularly used term in basketball, or maybe, in context, talking about shoot everyone, they thought it was not marketable or I don't know, I don't know, but for whatever reason, they, they literally blurred out his PSN. I've never seen them do, I've never seen any developer do something like that before. I thought it was interesting. There's n there's no nothing really to add on to this story, bro. That was really it. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like. Click on one of these four videos, all right? Father Beamstar in the building, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. I'm out, peace.